In this tutorial, I'm going to show you where to find the shapes and the curve tools and how to use and edit these. I'll begin with shapes and then I'll move on to curves later. So to start off with, we'll go to page 2 here and I'll just show you where to find the shapes to begin with. They're over here on the left hand side and we can see these flyouts here where we have some advanced power shapes. Here we have our general power shapes and here we have our basic shapes. Now if I left click on these flyouts you can see I get the choice of some arrows, some stars, some spirals here, uh, a square, circle, triangle and polygon and in here I get some basic shapes. It's just pa These ones just paste in as curves. They're really put in here for your convenience just so that you can create these sorts of shapes very quickly without having to actually go and draw them all out. I think Final Master does let you do that. I mean these were all, all of these were designed in Final Master to begin with. So okay, let's just paste some of these in. So I'm just going to bring in an arrow and I'll bring in say a star and you can see when I actually go into this mode I get a uh, paste cursor of the actual shape and up here I can actually change my mind. I can cancel this operation or I might decide to draw in say a square or a triangle or something else. So we'll stick with our star. So bring in our star here and I'll bring in say a spiral. I won't bring in all of them, I'll just bring in a few samples here just to give you an idea. Say a square and over here I'll bring in say a circle. Okay. So we've got all our power shapes up here. Oh look, I'll bring in a couple of basic shapes too. I want to show you the difference with basic shapes. So I'll click one of those there. And uh, I'll just make that a bit smaller. You can say perhaps one more, just for good measure. Okay. So, here we have uh, some shapes that we've got to select from. Now I can come in here and change obviously the colour of the shape. And all the regular things like uh, stretch, resize, rotate, these things are all available to me uh, if I need them. So this gives us an example of um, some of our shapes here. Okay, what I want to show you now is how these shapes work, these power shapes. The reason we call them power shapes is because of these special nodes here, these power nodes as you can see. So in each shape here you get different power nodes. And these power nodes do different things. In this particular case, these ones on the arrow edit the shape itself as so. Now on the square here it actually gives you an inner border for example and if I left click and hold it you can see it shows me a size and a preview of what I'm going to do. I let go and it does exactly as I've, I was uh, seeing in the preview. In this particular shape I can also change the inner border but I can also change the angle for example something like this. Here I can just change the actual sharpness and I can rotate this thing here. And over here I can actually change the start position. So these are the sorts of things these power shapes have, these special nodes that let you do all these things. So to create um, some pretty intricate uh, shapes it's very easy using these tools. Now you'll also notice in the second row of tools here, depending on what shape I've got selected, for example here is the spiral, I can change the number of loops for example, or the weight of the loops. I can do those sorts of things. If I click on this star here, I get like the number of points, or the sharpness. So I can actually adjust things here numerically. I can give it slightly a rounded effect in here and on the outside, etc. So I've got these sorts of controls. The arrow, for example, I can change how the tip radius by coming to say here, as you can see. Or I can give everything a radius, as so. I can also adjust this thing numerically, as you can see. I don't have to use the, uh, the power nodes. I've got these sorts of controls here. Okay, and same with the square here. I can actually adjust like I could make this a negative or a, um, a mitered effect here. I, I have these sorts of uh, controls and same with the circle. I can go ahead and change a whole bunch of things there. And as with uh, normal shapes in Vinyl Master, I can also add say a pen style and I can give that a pen thickness as you can see. So I can make that say red on this one and also give that a thickness. So these are the sorts of things we can do with our power shapes. We can come in and edit them and uh, modify how they look. We get our second row of tools here and when I'm in object mode I actually get extra information like its position and size etc. If I go into node edit mode I just get the tools dedicated to each, in each particular shape by simply going, clicking on it in node edit mode and seeing this information up here as you can see. So that's how we actually uh, apply this, this, um, these changes to these shapes. So we can come out here to uh, create them as you can see, and then once they're pasted we can then come into node edit mode or object mode and adjust the actual nodes. Now when it comes to basic shapes, these things work a little bit differently. They don't have power nodes and they actually come in this um, wireframe version. So they're actually like a wireframe fill. I can turn that off and as you can see it's got a solid colour. And again I can change this colour. But when I go to node edit this shape, I get the node tools up here rather than the power shape tools that these shapes have got or power nodes that these shapes have got. 
So that's the difference between basic shapes and power shapes. Power shapes let you adjust or edit the, the shape itself using the nodes, uh, you know, like in a symmetrical sense, as it is here, whereas here, these are just standard curves, as you can see, and I can adjust each node individually. And I can adjust these nodes, as I've said, but I can also adjust and change this to curves as well. I can come up to here to the curves menu and go convert to curves, and this just becomes a regular curve shape. And speaking of curves, we've got things like um, uh, other types of shapes that we can uh, bring into the, uh, the program, such as the clip art. Uh, you can select on any of these clip art objects here. I think there's about 17,000 of them in the main program in the uh, expert edition, and they just paste in, and again, you can change their colours and things. So we can do all these sorts of things. Um, and what else have we got? We've got uh, the corporate logos, for example. They load in, and you can just load those in as well. And these are curves as well. But as I said, I'll get to curves in a moment. I'll just show you the other things too with these shapes. It's important that you know. Actually, I've actually converted that. So I'll just draw out another arrow here. With power shapes, I'll just delete that one. And we'll make this one uh, blue to make the point. You can also add things like um, these uh, vector effects. For example, I could make this uh, multi-outline. Or I could undo that and make it, say, single outline. And then I can control these things here on the screen like this. So I can do a lot of things with my shapes. I'm not really restricted, and that's the way the shapes are uh, brought into the program and how we, uh, how we note edit them. So now I'll move on to curves, because as I was saying, you can convert all these things to curves. So I can go up to here and go convert to curves, and this now becomes curves. And if I go into wireframe here, you can see the actual curve shape here. So the first thing I'll do is I'll delete all this out here. I'll come up here and I'll go File, Edit, Import. And I'm just going to bring in one of these Vinyl Master logos here, this future bird here. Let's paste that into the center here. Now, this is just a curve object with a special effect applied. So if I go into wireframe mode here, you can see how the curves here are shown but obviously it has all these effects applied to it. So to remove these effects, I'll select each one of them, and I'll just go delete on the keyboard, and click this one, select this effect as well, and just go delete, and now I'm left with just the curve shape. I'll make it black, and I'll also put it into wireframe mode. So this is just a standard set of curves that have been created in Vinyl Master, which have then had special effects applied to them. And that's a great thing about curves, you can actually use them as a foundation to create some amazing artwork. So I just want to zoom in here and I'll just show you just roughly, well, just quickly how this works. If I go to node edit mode, you can see all these nodes come up. And in the second row of tools, I get all these node edit tools here, and there's lots of them. I also can access these from the curve menu here, as you can see. And there's lots of different things I can do to all these curves or this curve shape. I can, you know, uh, literally just completely edit it in any way I like. If I come here and click on this node, I can right click and I get this shape. Right click again, I get this shape. Right click again, I get a nice sharp edge. I have these sorts of controls. I have these slider nodes, as you can see. And I can uh, adjust nodes like this. I can select large slabs of nodes and move them around. I can undo things. So I've got all these sorts of controls. Down here in my heads up display, I've got even more, uh, more common node controls that I would want to be able to access on the fly as I'm doing this sort of work. Now, rather than trying to explain how all these nodes work and all these tools and features, it's a lot easier for you to come up to the help go to the help topics and actually just go and see some of the topics on these uh, on these node tools and watch some of the lessons where I actually show you exactly how to do some of these operations and go into much greater detail. The main point of this tutorial is just to show you uh, that there are a lot of node controls and you can do a lot with the nodes and curves in the program. They're not hard to use, they're actually quite simple. It's just a matter of just you know getting into them and uh, experimenting around a little bit uh, and playing with some of the examples we give you just so that you can get your head across how all these work and uh, how to use some of these tools and features. Uh, I'll give you an example of how easy they are to use. I'll just go to page uh, 3 here. Here's an example I've used in the manual. Um, now I've got this letter here. As you can see it's really rough on this on this edge here. The rest of it's okay but here it's just, it hasn't scanned in properly. So if I just put this in the wireframe mode and go into node edit mode and select this you can see all these really rough nodes here. So an example of how easy the node tools are to use, I can simply click on this heads up display here, which is replace section, which you'll also see up here in this drop down, replace section, just click on that there. You can see I get this on screen control here, it tells me what I'm doing. Simply click here, click here, click here, click here, click here, and I might just adjust this down a little bit. 
what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to say, well, I'm really unhappy with this section of the curve, so I'm going to use the Reply Section tools I've just done there. I click Apply, and as you can see, it's just cleaned that up literally instantly. So you can really, if I go Undo, you can see what I had. If I go Redo, you can see what I've done. Uh, very easy to fix these sorts of things up. So your node controls in the program are sophisticated and they let you really handle any sort of situation and deal with curves more generally and um, how to do that. Now, so that's how you node edit curves, uh, as I've shown you. The next question you've probably got is how do I actually create curves? Okay, that's easy enough as well. Okay, I'll just create a new page here. Okay, I want to create some curve shapes here. So what I can do is I can come over to this tool here, this flyout, and you can see I've got freehand curve, poly curve, polyline, smooth line, and vector brush. Okay, and these are all interactive controls and tools, very easy to use. Let's zoom into say here, and let's say I just want to make some sort of, I don't know, some some shape with a freehand curve. So I just simply click on this, you can see I get this uh, cursor up on the screen. I can just go with my mouse, and you can see the program cleaning it up behind me. For example, I'll let go and it creates that curve for me. And of course this is just a regular curve I can now cut out with my vinyl cutter or I can print out to my large format printer. I mean I can adjust this curve, I can come into node edit mode here like this and I could go, for example, replace curve here and you can see I can just go apply and I can fix this up here. So I might make some sort of a, um, I can keep going if I want to, I might want to make some sort of a cloud shape or whatever it happens to be very easy to do that. Once it's a curve I can then you know start doing things like changing the line style, I can give it a thickness, I can give it a colour, I could even change it to say you know a dotted effect like this. So these are the sorts of effects we have with curves and controls and tools we have. If I want to create say a more sophisticated curve I come into the polycurve thing here, polycurve tool, and I can create a more sophisticated curve. Now the thing you'll notice is that as I'm creating this curve I can come back and edit it. So I can right click and do these sorts of things, you know, I can adjust these nodes. So even though I'm uh, creating this curve, I can edit it on the fly. And these are geometric curves, so they'll start snapping to geometric shapes if I put them in the right position. So as you can see, I can create this curve, when I'm finished I simply click done and I have this curve. Again I can come back, node edit it, do these sorts of things. I get all my controls up here, as we see, all of them down here. So that's a great way of making a more sophisticated shape. And then I can come down here, I can create polylines. Now polylines are simply just you know line shapes like this. If I want a perfectly straight line, I just left click, hold down my control key and it will snap. As you can see, and if I hold down my control key it snaps vertically. So I can create, I'll just click done, I can create for example perfectly straight lines like this and click done here and then what I can do is I can give this a line style and I can start adding things like end caps. I've obviously got to give it some thickness, but as you can see, I could maybe go like this. And um, you know, I can change its colour, for example. So creating, you know, uh, line styles with um, or curve styles or line styles with end caps and things are very easy to do in the program. Now I'll show you another very powerful tool, which is this one down here, which is smooth line. Probably best if I show you on that future bird actually. I'll just go back to that. Okay. This is a good example. Occasionally you'll get artwork that's say vector artwork that you actually want to fix up, but you want to start from scratch. You want to create a new shape. So I'll zoom to all here. I'm going to lock this. So I can use this lock button up here. Lock selected. So that means I can't click on this now as you can see. So it's out of my um, out of my editing control, which is great because it means I don't want to click on this because I'm going to show you something here. I'll zoom into here. I'll go to our smooth line here, I'll just start somewhere up here, and I just want to show you this smooth line. You can actually hand trace shapes, and as you can see, the, you can see how the nodes are actually going through the actual curve itself. This is a rather powerful curve. Again, I can come back and edit it. I, I don't have to um, just be satisfied with what I've got there. I mean, I can still zoom in and zoom out while I'm editing. I can move to the scroll bar, and I'm still creating the curve. As you can see, smooth line, create here. I can even come back here and, and just you know, finally adjust it. And you can see how smooth this curve is. You can create the smoothest of shapes with it um, without any problems whatsoever. You can right click here and just and right click here just to actually to copy the shape. I mean you don't have to copy a shape, of course you can use this to create you know any sort of shape you want to create. Um, as you can see there. 
And once I'm finished, I simply click Create, and I can um, move that off, as so. And you can see how perfectly smooth that is. And then when I go back to Node Edit it, it's just a regular curve again. And I can just do all these controls as normal, as I was showing you before. So the smooth line is a great way of creating, you know, beautifully smooth curve shapes. You've really got a lot of control with that tool. Uh, and again, it's a, you know, it's a standard curve again, and I can you know, make it green or red or whatever colour I want. I can give it some thickness. I can do all these sorts of things. So creating curves is very easy from this fly out here. Again, all of these uh, curve tools have their own uh, help file, their own lessons, uh, explaining to you how to use them in much greater control than I'm showing you here. This is just an overall guide to how to do it. It's just where these things are. Okay, so that covers those issues there. Another thing you might want to know too is if you go to the open window here, uh, all these VDOCs are samples that we give you in the, um, in the samples folder. I'll give an example here. For example, all this corporate clip art, if I, oh, I've already got it open, have I? Oh, yes, I have. So all this corporate clip art here, um, these are just curves. And this is all these are. These are just curves that, uh, you know, we've gone to a lot of trouble to create um, to make all these shapes to make all these logos, but if I just zoom into say right into here like this and just go to wireframe mode, as you can see these are just curves. You know some of these things you, you can create out of text of course, but a lot of this stuff you can't, you, you know like this NOS, this nitrous oxide thing here which I've been editing in the past here, these things here are just curves and you can come in and you know you can uh, you can note edit these, you know as, I, as you can see here. So I can go back into regular mode, and uh, I can chop and change these. So if you've got clients that uh, want their logos modified, you can do that very easily using some of these tools. And uh, something else I'll show you as well, let's make a new page here, is something you should be aware of with curves is the shaping tools. So I'll just create some shapes here. Let's do a square and say a triangle, for example, and say a circle here. And you'll see uh, in the manual there's a lesson, well, lots of lessons and help files on on the shaping tools, but I just want to quickly show you those. We'll give these things some colour so we can see what on earth is going on, because when they're all black it's not quite as clear. Hang on, blue. All right, I'll make this green, I think. Right, so that clearly shows us what we're doing here. Okay, I can shape all these things together or weld them. So by that I can select over them, come out to the uh, welding and shaping tools here, and I can go weld selected, as you can see. And if I go into wireframe mode or put it in wireframe mode, you see what's happened here. Um, I can undo that again. Let's say I wanted to punch this red circle out of this blue square, I can select those two, uh, go to the shaping th uh, fly out, click punch out and you can see the red circle has been punched out of the blue square. And I can do it the opposite as well, I can, um, I can stamp it so to speak and bring out the square from the, the red circle there. And I can do all those sorts of controls from the shaping tools, you can see here there's plenty of to choose from, from welding. You know, you can weld layers and do all these sorts of things. Again, these all have their own help files and lessons and things, and I encourage you to go and watch those and learn about those things. So you now know where to find uh, your shapes. Uh, you now know where to find your curves and how to create them. And don't forget node edit mode. And when you go into node edit mode, you get a whole bunch of uh, node controls. Uh, you know, if I convert this to curves, click on that button, node edit mode. We get all these node controls here and from the curves drop down here, or menu, all these options. So there's a lot you can do. Um, you can develop any shape, number of shapes, uh, and uh, develop your artwork to any level you want to go to. It's all very easy in the program, and that explains how to do all those things. And again, make sure you watch the lessons and the help uh, to get a better grounding in all of these things. And that's the end of this tutorial.